can't. Can't what? This semester has been so crazy. I can't wait till it's over with all this testing, the hurricanes, all this work. I just want to sleep. Some sleep would be nice, but we only have a couple more days left. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little nap. Well, since Kiara is sleeping on the job, I guess we'll have to wait to share today's news with you. Stay tuned here on Ignition TV. Yara, the show is starting. Snowy in, it might be Christmas, but it will not snow in. The show, S-H-O-W, show. Oh, did you finish the script? Yep. Christmas past? Today we're gonna take an adventure through time to visit Christmas past, Christmas future, and Christmas present. You got me a present? Sure, Kiara. Christmas present as in now, 2022. Oh, so what about the past? Taraji's been digging into the past, and she might have a few gifts for us there. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas! Many people may recognize this phrase from the famous Santa Claus, but this old man can be traced back hundreds of years to a monk named Saint Nicholas. But how did it go from jolly old Saint Nick to Santa Claus? St. Nicholas was believed to be born around A.D. 280 near what we know today as Turkey. St. Nicholas has become the subject of many legends that we know today. He was known for his devotion, kindness, and his willingness to give to others. St. Nicholas gave away all his inheritance and traveled to the countryside to help the poor and sick. For all he had done for his country, he became the most popular saint in Europe. The anniversary of his death is still celebrated to this day. Interestingly enough, the celebration often includes numerous weddings throughout the country. Nearly 1,500 years after his birth, his new name stake started to develop as Santa Claus. The name is actually a derivative of the nickname Santa Claus, which actually means Saint Nick. The lore of his givingness continued on in the United States and is typically traced back to New York as being the origin of the Santa Claus we know today. While Santa may have moved away to the North Pole, in his giving spirits, he visits us just before the holidays to make his list. In fact, I was just on his lap the other day because I really want that new MacBook Pro. Did you hear that, Mom? I'm Taraji Hamilton reporting for Ignition TV News. Who would have thought the past was so cool? I did not know that stuff about St. Nick. Yeah, I mean, the past can be pretty neat, but I'm a more futuristic person myself. Like, I can't wait to graduate and go into film school. Well, I don't know what I want to do with my future yet. I know exactly what I want my future to look like. Well, I know what I want, I just don't know how to plan it. You know, Jay Neal's been helping with that very thing. My future? No, planning for your future. That includes getting Christmas to look just how you want it to. As we're flipping through the final chapters of our high school lives, it is important that we must prepare for the future, which is why developing strong goals and setting clear paths is key to a great story. So, let's make sure your Christmas future is exactly how you want it to be. A great starting point for any career or academic endeavor is a solid GPA. While most scholarships only require a 3.0 GPA, a 3.5 or higher will provide you with a plethora of scholarships and opportunities. One key to this is making sure that you have a FAFSA prepared. So, make sure to go to fafsa.gov to fill out your information towards possible student aid. There is also plenty of time to work towards scholarships to your future. Locally, the Polk Education Foundation opens up in mid-January of each year. So, collecting letters of recommendation and getting community service hours are great ways to be prepared and make sure your applications are more competitive. If you want to improve your overall experience towards this future, find ways to be diverse in your experiences. Explore other classes and join clubs and teams that work together to develop skills and achieve common goals. These opportunities look great on your resume and applications, and some of these experiences could lead to additional scholarship opportunities. The most important part of all of this is to make sure you have a plan. Everything you do in high school and the career you choose are all important, so think about each one and make sure they're all connected for your Christmas future. That's all I have for you today. Happy Holidays. Enjoy your day and stay safe. My name is Daniel, reporting for Ignition TV News. 
So there was a past and there was a future. Now is it time for my present? Not your present. Well, let's see what gifts we have for our viewers, though. A Christmas tree has silver, gold, and red ornaments on it. It has 21 silver and gold ornaments and 15 red ornaments. If half of the total ornaments are silver, then how many gold ornaments are on the tree? Is half the total? Half the total one is 14 and a half. Nine? Total ornaments are silver, then how many gold ornaments are? Wait, how many ornaments on the tree already? Four. Oh God. If you have 15 red ornaments and 21 gold and silver ornaments, you'll have 36 ornaments all together. If you take half of the 36, you'll get 18, leaving you with 18 silver ornaments. 36 minus 15 minus 18 leaves you with three gold ornaments. See, don't you feel more prepared now? I do. I feel pretty good after my nap too. Well, that's good, because you'll need to pay attention to today's announcements. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your $50 senior dues. If you're interested in going to Grad Bash, the fee is $100 and must be submitted to Ms. Kramer before January 13th. Get ready, Red Devils. Once the semester break is over, PBIS will be in full swing, so be red. That includes keeping your grades up and being on your best behavior. And don't forget to exchange them for K-Bucks in order to get KHS merchandise and more. Reminder, winter break begins December 17th, so remember to finish the semester strong. Christmas past, present, and future. And my present? Fine. A pillow? I couldn't think of a more perfect gift for you. Oh, all right. Well, that's all for today's episode of Ignition TV News. I'm Ian Pennypacker. I'm Kiara Canales. Merry Christmas to cool. all and, and good, good night. night.